Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another spiritual consultation and download for my beloveds. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls, are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Today is yet another day for a beautiful transmission from spirit. Uh, it is the 7-7 seven, seven portal, and in honor of one of my favorite numbers, which also happens to be my life path number, seven. I wanted to bless you all with another reading, with another uh, transmission from the divine. I welcome each and every one of you beautiful souls that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. To anyone that may be new, I welcome you. I go by the name of Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am also a clairaudient reader, so the way things work on my side of the planet is I do incorporate music into the readings, and the way that it works, the name of the songs, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, or even a number that may be associated with a song, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards may be showing, and it all just blends very beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Never try to force anything to be your story. Take what little tidbits that resonate with you and leave the rest. Maybe there is just a little smidget of information that the divine wants to impart to you and he is merely using me as a vessel. So take what applies, take what's apl applicable, and leave the rest. Um, also, my readings are timeless. So whenever this video pops up in your feed, whether it be two weeks from now, a month from now, maybe three years from now, it was all divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. So without further ado, let's do some house cleaning, and then we shall proceed with the read, beloveds. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So the time we have on the Klizak, it is 10. I saw 10, but it's now 10.01. So I'm first going to expound on 10. Uh, 10 is the number of divine endings, completions, wrapping up of cycles. 10 is also associated with the wheel of fortune. So I do believe if there were certain delays or if there were certain uh, chapters that you were completing or wrapping up, I do feel that that's confirmation that there is something that is kind of turning around. So if you're coming out of a period where, you know, things were a little stagnant or maybe you were in a learning period or in a learning um, mode, I feel like now there's going to be some things that turn around that's going to bring some more uh, positivity in your life, peace in your life. Some of you all with the 11, um, that 10 and that um, 1, 10 or 1 reduces to 11, which also reduces to 2. I do feel like there's going to be some decisions that you're needing to make or having to make coming forward. And there's an, it's a necessity to choose wisely. Um, something may be trying to pull on you for nostalgic sake. We have Reminisce playing by Nas, and this is from his King's Disease album number three. So I do feel like with that three that I'm seeing with the 
um, album cover that there could have been some uh, remnants of like going through a painful cycle where there was heartache loss um, but there's also what I'm getting a sense of like um, the need to use your intuition maybe there is a karmic situation that's completing uh, and that's why now things are kind of um, lightning for you things may be um, feeling liked her I should say so this is really a beautiful energy um, some of you could be just kind of reminiscing on you know happier times or maybe when you were younger when you didn't have as many responsibilities or when things weren't as um, you know wasn't as uh, difficult or uh, confusing you know maybe the there's this energy of kind of reminiscing to better days or reminiscing when things were um, happier for you um, it's good to look back in awareness but do not look back and compare what you where you've been to where you are now um, if anything we are to learn and grow from each experience not um, fault ourselves uh, for where we may feel we are um, in the moment so if you are in a, a nostalgic place where you're reminiscing um, be mindful not to judge yourself in that process of reflecting um, you know, or reminiscing, you know, if you will. Um, I'm also getting with that to um, the 11 I was initially feeling is that um, there's something going to be justified. Um, maybe there's um, justification in a situation. Uh, maybe if there was some sort of legal matters or if some of you all were um, going through a divorce or maybe you were going through some sort of um, some some sort of legal proceedings i feel things will work out in your favor because i am hearing like justified justice um i'm feeling things are um going to work out um for you in the end and i do feel um it is rooted in a lot of what you um done in the past so spirit kind of recognizing you being someone who has um you know who has been um very like very mindful um of where you are and i see there's um something in my playlist that doesn't belong and i just want to remove it because that is not where it goes um i don't even know how to remove this video i don't know All right, I can't do it now. I guess I'll just have to remember that and look for it later. But anyway, so we're going to see what, you know, the cards have to say. Right now, Mary J. Blige, um, I love you is playing. So, you know, if there are some feelings of nostalgia, this could be, you know, either your energy or someone else that I'm picking up on who may be realizing that they love you. It's six on the clock and six deals with the lovers because it's 10.05. Someone's name could be Mary. Uh, someone could have a J, a M, a B, first, middle, or last in their name. Someone could be from Yonkers, New York, um, or just from New York. Um, we are in um, an eight universal year, and this is the year of the dragon. And so I am feeling like whatever that may, whatever's, that's, whatever's going on, I do feel a strong sense of like karmic justice or um, some sort of... Um, like things are working out in your favor. So there is something that's working out, something that's turning around. Um, because the name of the channel is called um, Drag O Star. And I just saw the word dragon in that initially, but that star reference is saying that, you know, whatever hard work um, that you've had to endure to get past something that was difficult and that that completion of a cycle it's like you're getting your wish fulfillment or you're getting your just due or you are getting recognized for that and i do feel like there's also someone that's recognizing you as a star or seeing you as a wish fulfillment of some sort as well um many of you may be just receiving a wish fulfillment because of your hard work because of your um drive your determination your tenacity and just your will to not give up um, I'm feeling that as well very strongly. 
So we have 87, that breaks down to 15. Someone is definitely seeing a lot of synchronicities. You just saw six with that 10 or five, and this 87, 15 breaks down to six. So there could be someone that may be seeing you as, you know, their divine counterpart. This could be like a past life love, perhaps a twin flame, um, because that six deals with the lovers and the lovers. If you think of the lovers, there is an angel that oversees that union. So I do feel like it is a union that is being aligned, that is being um, divinely aligned by your angels and your guides. And you're going to have someone or find someone that's going to genuinely and sincerely love you. Um, there could be a lot of synchronicities that you may be having, whether it be lucid dreams, vivid dreams, maybe you're bumping into a particular person, or maybe you are having, if you already have met this person, having certain dreams about a particular person. Um, that 15 could speak to kind of like, you know, obsessively thinking about someone or perhaps someone is feeling a little protective, overprotective of a situation or even possessive or obsessive. Um, this could be like, you know, um, constantly like ruminating about a situation or constantly thinking of a person to the point where it's it's very um it's almost obsessive. It's it's a it's a constant thought, and this is like saying that you know maybe that's why you're picking up on these signs. I saw eleven eleven with eleven twenty nine, and that is the number associated with the twin flame, and that's also the vibration of the number four. And four deals with the heart chakra. Four is also a divine masculine. So I am getting a sense of maybe someone is recovering or someone is recuperating from pain, from loss, from hurt. Um, and now there is this sense of love, this self-love. Even if this is your energy, um, you are, you know, finding that sense of, you know, self-love, self-care, um, and self-worth after a very difficult period in your life. And maybe you're loving yourself more. Um, with synchronicities, I feel spirit is strongly communicating with some of you. Um, you may be bumping into angel numbers eight, seven, and six. Uh, maybe you're seeing eight, eight, eight. Maybe you're seeing seven, seven, seven. Maybe you're seeing six, six, six. Maybe you're seeing one, one, one. Maybe you're seeing five, five, five. Maybe you're seeing eleven, eleven. Maybe you're seeing, um, you know, four, 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 three, three, three. Some of these uh, numbers. I feel like this is spirit's way of just reminding you of, you know, the path that you are to stay on, to not get distracted. Um, because the six is also speaking to your first eye. Um, that six deals with the first eye. So I feel spirit is reminding you to trust your intuition and use discernment um, at all times uh, just to avoid uh, certain pitfalls. What we have playing right now is we have Pastor T, um, and this is called I Shall Wear a Crown. So I feel like spirit is saying that you will be adorned your crown. Um, and that means that there is some sort of recognition of your hard work. 1313, 13, you have transformed and you have emerged your divine self with whether divine feminine or divine masculine, but spirit is as acknowledged and has, um, recognized, um, your work, your tenacity, your drive, and your will to be a better version of yourself. 13 deals with a death card. So that could speak of, you know, um, the death of old versions of yourself, old belief systems, old ideologies, even the death of old people, places, things that you may have been associated with. Maybe those are the signs that spirit is sending you that it's time to wrap something up or that the completion is coming to a close. Um, and, you know, maybe there is this, you know, constant um, nagging thought that is trying to keep you stuck in a space of confusion having you, you know, worrisome or doubtful, um, or even in a spirit of lack or in a scarcity mindset. And spirit is reminding you um, to pay attention to the synchronicities that spirit is guiding you because those synchronicities are signs from your angels and your guides. Yesterday, I saw a rainbow and I posted it because spirit told me that I could share that because some of you all need the confirmations as well that you're on the right path. Um, as I also sh have shared recently feathers that I have found, I share those things when spirit approves me to do so. Sometimes those are my own personal and private, um, you know, downloads and, um, 
little uh, nuggets of, of uh, confirmation that spirit wants to um, provide me. But there are times when spirit says, share this uh, because this is something that you all may need to know or hear in that um, in those instances. So with this energy, I shall wear a crown. I am definitely feeling like you all have uh, ascended. You have, you know, emerged someone new, someone different, someone completely transformed. Uh, what we have on the split is the 87 uh, synchronicity, and then we have 91 uh, surrender. And so what I am seeing here with surrender um, is that spirit is telling you to trust this process because many of you may have been, um, like I said, very um, worrisome or doubtful um, or just a little confused and conflicted even. But I feel like spirit is saying, just trust this process. Uh, that's why they're giving you these signs um, because you may be, um, you know, you may be kind of like in a space where you are not seeing things very clearly. There are some, some doubts. There is some confusion. You could be stuck in two minds even. Um, and with this six and this 91, that's seven. So I do feel like that is saying that there is self-imposed mental anguish, or maybe there is someone um, around you that could be trying to dupe you or confuse you. Um, but this also could speak to self-imposed mental anguish. I feel like you may be very guarded or very blocked as well, um, almost protecting your energy because I'm seeing not only the seven of swords where there could be this, this what I feel, what I'm gathering is something that's more so self-imposed, um, which is why we, you know, initially saw that, um, that energy or had that message um, from Nas saying reminisce because this that could be self-sabotage to some degree like looking back and comparing because I was getting someone who's kind of comparing where you know what they what they used to have or where they used to be or what once was to the present and we're never to do that um, we are to you know like I said look back in awareness 1717 17, that's 88 eight, that's 16 that breaks down to seven so that is something that spirit is saying that you all are doing to yourself and this is making you super guarded so I feel like spirit is saying surrender to spirit and let spirit allow spirit to move things around um, accordingly and just trust this process overall seven is also about finding that balance so I feel like spirit really wants you to you know come into harmony you know come into that harmony that seven is the chariot so it's really about being harmonized it's really about asserting yourself in a certain way whether that be asserting yourself in a more confident way or asserting yourself um, to express your truth or to stand up for what you believe in uh, we have group home superstar some of you all could have grew up in group homes some of you all could work in group homes uh, some of you could be from the Bronx or Brooklyn we have superstar and that's what I feel like you are that's why I was feeling like spirit was saying you will be adorned a crown 1818 18 on the clock there's a lot of things that may have been hidden from you and I definitely feel like there's a, 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 you know, a lot that could be unsurfacing or unearthing within you. Maybe there's a lot of um, pain um, that you were navigating or working through, which has you feeling very defensive or very super protected and guarded of yourself. But I also feel like, you know, that spirit is reminding you that, you know, you have to turn that pain into power, turn your pain into a superpower because you are a star and you do have that ability to, you know, co-create with source and transmute whatever that painful circumstance was. The seven, as I said, again, I'm getting a strong sense of just, you know, like the seven of pentacles, just feeling almost a sense of um, dissatisfaction, not feeling very um, content with where you are, but you are not realizing or recognizing the progress that you've made because the seven of pentacles is really, um, something that you've been able to, um, acquire and obtain all on your own. And so you're not giving yourself the credit that you deserve. And there goes that 13 again, effort. So spirit acknowledges your effort. And that's why I feel like there's this recognition, 
um, spirits recognizing you, rewarding you. Um, because some of you have come from some very humble backgrounds. As I said, some of you could have grew up in group homes um, and you've had to overcome a lot of just abuse, emotional abuse, maybe physical, even sexual um, abuse, uh, but you've overcome it and you've kind of risen from the ashes. It's like almost what was designed to destroy you only made you stronger. Um, and I feel like a lot of you could be a little jaded by your past. Maybe that's why I was picking up on some of you like looking back in the at the past, like reminiscing. Maybe if it wasn't like reminiscing, like, oh, things were better. Maybe you're reminiscing, looking back at, you know, the things that weren't so um, pleasant that you've um, endured and spirit doesn't want you to live in the past spirit wants you to be in this moment because this is all you have right now is this right here and now moment we have um billy uh billy paul and this is called me and mrs jones some of you could be um a jones first middle or last Nas that was playing that opened up the reading is a jones his name is nazir ben alu dara jones um so some of you could be jones um, but me and Mrs. Jones, I see 360 degrees, um, referenced here. So I do feel like something, as I said, is, is, you know, kind of coming full circle. Something's turning around now in your favor. There goes the completion. Remember I saw 10 and then I saw 11 because it was, uh, 10, um, it was 10 o'clock and then it turned to 10 one. So this is confirming what I was picking up, the completion, and then, you know, you wrapping up the cycle. I feel like there was some codependency. That's why you had to endure what you did. Um, some of you, as I said, may be going through divorces. Um, some of you may be just going through separations, or some of you have been separated for quite some time or divorced for quite some time. And some of the lessons you've had to learn in those relationships that you are now um, you know, parted from was to stand perpendicular in your square to, you know, to gain a sense of independence because our independence is that source of, you know, our foundation of strength and power and self-love and self-worth. Um, when you use others as crutches, whether emotionally codependent or financially codependent on other people, um, that means that there's a lack of confidence in yourself to do the things that you need to do. So we have to be, uh, you know, adequate enough on our own before we can ever be in a union. I see two, 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 two. So that's eight. And that eight breaks down to, I'm sorry, that two, uh, two, 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 two breaks down to eight. But that eight is associated with the strength card. So I am feeling like a lot of you um, are stronger in your independence now, stronger than you thought you ever would be. I feel like a lot of you didn't realize that you could do it alone, um, especially if you were in marriages. I feel like a lot of you were very, um, I don't want to call it needy, but very codependent. Um, you didn't believe in your ability to be able to um, survive on your own or to manage on your own. And I feel like you clung to relationships um, that you knew were weren't healthy for you, or that you knew weren't um, best the best uh, connections for you, and it could have you know really caused a lot of tower moments. Um, you could have discovered a lot of secrets because we saw that 1818. I feel like there were a lot of things that may have been hidden from you, um, but I also feel like this is also you. Um, taking those deep dives within yourselves and discovering more about yourselves as well. And that's how you were able to really, you know, emerge someone new because you trusted your intuition. Um, with this 10, 11, I do feel like you're getting your just due because you finally owned your power. It stood in your power. Um, this three is associated with the solar plexus. So that is the sun that shines within. So I do feel like you gained your confidence and your self-esteem completely, um, you know, took a three, I don't want to call it a 360, but a 180. Like it just really took a turn for the better because you removed the people from your life that were really causing you to um, be in a state of confusion. I feel like you were around people that really didn't have um, your best interest at heart because as I saw with that 87, that was like, you know, that also is associated with the devil. So I was feeling like obsessive and possessive um, energy, you know, maybe someone that could have been 
um, negatively influencing you. You know, maybe those were certain belief systems that you've had um, on your own, or maybe those were certain addictions and afflictions, or, you know, just the lack of obedience. And now, you know, there's this clarity. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, beloveds. So let's come in and go and out going on for my beloved Scorpio. So two cards chose themselves. Bottom of the deck, we have 26, 8. And then we have another 8 here. So during this August 8th, 2024, 8 um, solar, um, I, I said solar. So during this 8-8 eight, eight portal, the Lion's Gate, pardon me, I was seeing the sun because the lion is associated with the sun. Um, that is the sun sign of Leo. So that's why I said the sun, but this is showing me that there could be new love coming in. Remember, we had a song by Mary J. Blige calling, um, saying, I love you. Um, eight always reminds me of a wish fulfillment as well. I feel like things are positively moving forward and taking a turn for the better. Um, with environment, this is something that is quickly and rapidly approaching you. Um, this is something that may even be unexpected. I definitely feel it has a lot to do with love and this love is now coming because you've taken the necessary time to heal thyself. And when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. And when you love thyself, you now know thyself. And so you are attracting a like mind, a alike, be alike here. I'm seeing someone that's going to match or fly your vibration, have the same chemistry, you know, um, same, you know, same, um, there's going to be sing synergy and chemistry and just have the same interests and goals and desires, um, you know, same love, same passions and someone willing to put in the work, someone willing to, um, reciprocate the gesture of love. I see two people who have worked very, um, very much on themselves, you know, who've really healed, um, from the soul, you know, from a lot of, of, of past pains, wounds, traumas, even from past life traumas, breaking generational curses and, you know, learning that they were alchemists, you know, they tapped into that alchemy, alchemical, um, force and realized that they were the magicians, I imagine nation. So they were setting intention and speaking into the ethers, their desires and working on spells and visualizations and scribing in their journals and doing candle magic, just utilizing the power, um, that is within the God, um, in them was being very, um, very resourceful. This is a very resourceful energy. This is a very determined, um, energy as well. And I feel like two people are coming into alignment, as I said earlier, because I was feeling strongly like your angels are bringing you into alignment with a like mind. We have this 41 here, and this is self-discipline. And I was speaking of how you all were working on yourselves to obtain, um, you know, that self-love and that self-worth. That's something that you had to learn, especially when you had the um, completion and the individuality. So a lot of you had to learn to, you know, you know, get rid of those faulty belief systems and to really, um, love yourselves. You can't expect others to love you if you don't love yourself. So you did a lot of inside work, you know, love is an inside job as is healing at a soul level. That's an inside job. So you now are experiencing where your outside world is going to start reflecting your inside world because you have been healing. Um, and this is generating some sort of wish fulfillment. You're also real, um, you know, being recognized, you know, there's wish fulfillment coming because spirit is recognizing your efforts. Spirit is recognizing, um, just your drive and your tenacity and just you being very obedient to this process, uh, with eight and five, that's 13. So you have definitely transformed. I think things are going, uh, to turn around in your favor as well, because you are going through some sort of rebirth or startling metamorphosis. And that's almost like a fresh start. That's like, um, starting anew. Um, and I feel like, you know, love is in the air. Um, we have right now, uh, never let you down. And this is by Maze. So you're going to have someone that's going to come in. That's not going to let you down this time around. As I said before, I felt like whoever you were in a relationship with, they was teaching you, um, to stand independently, to love yourself, obviously to have some sort of self-love, self-worth, self-value, because I do feel like there was a lot of self-sabotage overcompensating, 
um, maybe even appeasing to please others. But now that's the death of you. You're no longer trying to appease others. You're not trying to fit in or trying to uh, go along to get along. You are now being your authentic self unapologetically, um, especially with this 13, this four, as I said, that's about recovery. It's about healing. Um, but it's also about self-love because the four deals with that heart chakra and the fact that it's doubled, I feel you're attracting someone else made in your likeness. And we see that here with this um, this eight here with love partnership. Um, so how what you're attracting to you. So your overall energy is 44 environment. So that spirit's way of saying something's rushing in quickly. This could be even communication. Um, you could be traveling. Um, you know, maybe you're going to be going to the mountains. Um, I just see a grassy area or, you know, a lot of trees. Um, so I'm just getting mountains. Some of you could be going to the mountains. Maybe you're going to be doing some hiking. Maybe you're going to be staying at a cabin. Uh, maybe you're going on a retreat, like, you know, to, to do some Reiki healing, um, you know, chakra healing, um, you know, maybe sound baths. Um, but I do feel like there's this element of being out in nature. So there's like almost like this retreat or it's going to be very therapeutic, um, spiritually so as well. Um, with self-discipline, this is something that um, you're doing for yourself. This is about self-love, self-care. So you are perhaps taking um, vacation to do this, taking some time from work, your PTO days, um, you know, maybe you're going on holiday um, just to get some self-love, self-care in because it's time. I keep hearing the word retreat. So I don't know if some of you are going on a retreat. I don't know if some of you are going on like I'm seeing even a ship and it's going to, you know how the ships, you go on the ship and um, it stops in all the, you know, the local islands. So some of you may, you know, partake in, like I said, a spa treatment or some sort of Reiki healing, or maybe you're going to be in a very beautiful woodsy cabin area, um, just kind of enjoying uh, the outdoors being in, you know, that, 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 um, being in that space of, of grounding oneself, being in a space where you can connect with mother Gaia, daughter earth. This is beautiful. What you're attracting to you is that 41 self-discipline. So I do feel like there is this sense of maturation and growing. Um, some of you could be learning certain skills, gifts, and talents in this process. Maybe what I'm picking up on in terms of retreat could be something that is um, rooted in your own spiritual um, journey, maybe a shamanic um, journey. Maybe some of you are becoming shamans. Maybe some of you are being initiated. Um, but I do feel like a strong sense of learning and studying, like studentship, tutelage, um, someone imparting knowledge, someone that could be like a master teacher, an elder. Um, this could be a matriarch or patriarch as well. Maybe this is, um, you know, someone that has that maternal or paternal energy in your family that is imparting some sort of knowledge um, rooted in spirituality. Um, or maybe this is just, you know, you getting advice, you know, someone advising you and, and you um, being very open to correction. Um, maybe this could be a little chastisement, um, you know, killing of the ego. Maybe someone's being very honest with another person and that forces you to see things from a different perspective. And now you are merging someone new or you're seeing things from someone else's vantage point and you're emerging someone new. Um, or maybe this is just you doing your own due diligence and seeing things from a bird's eye view. And as I said, killing a version of yourself that no longer um, suits you or fits you. Um, so it's like you're, you're shedding. It's like a shedding. I'm getting a shedding. So let's tap in. So, um, how does this person or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And with this maze reference, I do feel like it has been quite the journey. You felt lost many a times, um, but you are finding your way. You are finding your path. Pardon me. I do feel like you are coming to, um, you know, the precipice of a brand new start. Um, and it has been very confusing, uh, but it's like now you're just following, um, you know, your gumption, your inner um, wise dome. You're following your intuition. You're following and using discernment. Now you're no longer uh, trying to control the narrative. You're just going with spirit. You're following 
um, and being um, obedient to spirit because that's what that surrender card was all about. Someone is definitely very attracted to you. We got Benita Applebaum playing A Tribe Called Quest. Um, that Tribe Called Quest, Quest is also veggie backing off of, you know, the build that I was having about you um, finally being obedient on this journey and not trying to uh, control the narrative or control, um, you know, the outcome. Uh, let me get one more. Let me show, break it down one more again. Thank you, Spirit. So the overall energy, how someone feels about you, pardon me. There goes 7-7. Seven, seven. And today is 7-7. Seven, seven. So there's absolutely, like I said, um, strong connection um, that you're making a spiritual connection also. Um, because this is definitely like someone who is equally intuitive, connected. Um, maybe they too have some sort of spiritual gifts. I was picking up on you having synergy and chemistry with another person, but this is also, um, confirming they could also be like, you know, that twin flame type of connection that, that past life type of connection where this person will feel very familiar. Um, I do get a strong sense of someone wanting to communicate with you. Um, but you coming off very guarded because you are doing a lot of inner work. Um, and so, you know, this guardedness is almost making someone a little apprehensive or maybe feeling a little intimidated um, with this 7-7 seven, seven, and today being 7-7. Seven, seven, that 7-7 seven, seven breaks down to 14. 14 is associated with the temperance card. So I am feeling like, you know, spirit is saying, um, you know, that patience is key. Uh, and I did post um, yesterday, that was one of the messages um, with the rainbow that I posted with spirituality. That's, I almost feel like because five is associated with the throat chakra and it's about communication, but I also feel like that spirit's way of saying that that is another way that they're communicating with you through the synchronicities that you may be seeing. And, you know, maybe someone sees you through the lens of being very spiritual or very intuitive. And that could be something that's, um, you know, intimidating. So maybe they are resorting to sending you messages intuitively. Um, maybe this is that person that's reminiscing. Um, because maybe, as I said, you're coming off very guarded because I'm seeing the seven of swords, but I'm also, I mean, the seven of wands and the seven of swords could also be just like self-imposed mental anguish or someone trying to dupe you. Maybe this is how you may feel someone, you know, because of your past. Um, I kept feeling like someone was like constantly living in the past and reminiscing on how things was or once were, and it's no longer that way. So it's like being this moment now. So maybe this is a little bit of self-imposed, um, you know, or this could be uh, mental anguish or sabotage, self-sabotage. But I get strongly, um, because this four and this five that these cards break down to, I strongly get that this is, um, you know, someone who's, you know, feeling blocked, you know, because you're coming off very guarded. This is someone very attracted to you. They see you as a wish fulfillment uh, because we did have superstar playing. And then we also had that um, Dogo star, um, whatever the name of that channel was that I showed you, but it was star references. And I was feeling like you had a wish fulfillment or a blessing, or perhaps this is how someone may see you as very strong. Um, you stand direct, but with the nine, I'm getting the nine of uh, wands where you, you know, you are guarded because you've been wronged so many times in the past by the people that you trusted, the people closest to you, um, stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, deceived you, lied to you. Um, and so you are very guarded and you still have this fight. You still are um, still very strong. You know, your demeanor is still strong. And that could be what this person is picking up on because you do have your guard up. You do have a wall up uh, based off of what you've experienced in your past. I'm also feeling strongly like you have worked very hard to get where you are and you're not going to allow anyone to come in and destroy what you've been building because it took a lot for you to get to where you are. Um, so you're not allowing just anybody to come in and sweet talk you and distract you off your path. And then you're starting right back at ground zero, trying to rebuild again. So it's, that's another reason why I feel that there's this strong sense of you being very guarded. But remember spirit said surrender because what's coming in is someone that is going to absolutely, um, love you, right? This is someone that has, um, 
done a lot of work on themselves. So this isn't a broken person coming to you looking to be healed. This is someone who's also had to, you know, take the responsibility of healing themselves. And when you heal thyself, as I said earlier, you will love thyself. And when you love thyself, you then know thyself. So you will know your worth. This person is coming towards you, knows their worth. They know that you're worth their time and they're willing to put forth that effort. And that nine is showing me the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups. This person sees you as someone very single, self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant, strong, um, very down-to-earth, earthy, uh, very domestic, very attractive, very caring and tender, um, and, uh, you know, a hard worker. Um, and this is someone that wants to plant seeds and roots with you because they see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as someone that can, you know, that you're like the answer to their prayer. With this 61, I see self-love. And this is what we are about to pull is what's hidden in the energy. So I do get a strong sense of like, you know, your, your, your self-love. Um, is allowing is, is is forcing you to assert yourself like you're moving in this energy of self-love so when you love yourself um, it is very attractive to others that may be kind of a watching you from a distance or you know kind of you know wanting to approach you that makes you more attractive because we did have um, you know that energy um, that was playing earlier with uh, Bonita Applebaum by Tribe Called Quest. Um, you know, they, they could be very attracted to you physically, that you may have a, a big old booty, you know, got a big old rump, you know, rump a dump dump, you know, and it's something that's very attractive to them. And also, you know, the fact that you love yourself, it makes you even more attractive as well. So let's tap in. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Yeah, you loving yourself makes you more attractive. You know, that makes you super attractive. And we have Bob Marley. Um, this is called Waiting in Vain. So someone feels like they're waiting in vain. You know, this is what's hidden in the energy. I don't want to wait in vain. Someone could be from Jamaica. So thank you, Spirit. And Spirit is saying it's all right to surrender to this. There is a happy ending. This card showed up in the last Scorpio reading. So I do feel like this is Spirit's way of confirming that there's a happy ending. And it says surrender. And then we also have forgiveness, which also flew out. So surrender and then forgiveness is the outcome. So I'm strongly feeling like with this surrender card, Spirit is saying it's time for you to open up. Because as I was picking up with this nine, your energy is nine. This 4441, that reduces to five. I mean, four, and then this seven, seven reduces <clears throat> to five, which is nine. So your energy, I was picking up guarded, but you're also very independent, very self-sufficient. You worked your ass off to get to where you are, whether you're feminine or masculine. It took a lot of work, internal work to reflect your external world, because now I feel that you're in a space where you could be, you know, very you know, independent financially, you're doing a lot better than you may have been doing um, in a long time. Maybe when, since you were in a relationship, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting blocked. So I do get a sense with waiting in vain. Maybe that's the vain part um, is that someone's not communicating or expressing themselves. Because my throat just all of a sudden started getting choked up. So, <clears throat> So with this part of me, so with this 91 surrender, I do feel like, you know, cause that 91 breaks down to 10. So this is the block that's being turned around. Like this is something's coming full circle. And this time around, I feel like spirit is saying that you could be opened and receptive to this new, um, love to this new experience because whoever's coming towards you is someone who loves you. This is someone who genuinely cares about you. Someone's name could be Bob or Marley, first, middle, or last, or someone could be born on 420, or someone could really love Bob Marley. Someone could chief a lot of Bob Marley. Um, but I'm definitely getting a sense of like, there is something turning um, because this 91 breaks down to 10 and that's associated with the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like things are turning and it's turning around in your favor. Um, it's gonna bring a lot of happiness. It's gonna bring a lot of joy. Um, and that's why spirit is saying, you know, let your guard down because I was picking up someone very guarded 
and um, with surrender right next to the 77. This is why, you know, I'm getting a strong sense of that. With this 96 forgiveness as the outcome, I'm getting also because that breaks down to 15 as well and 15 breaks down to six. So I do feel like spirit is saying when you forgive that person that may have hurt you in the past or when you forgive someone that may have wronged you in the past, um, you know, this kind of breaks you free from anything that could be binding you or holding you, you know, down energetically or anchoring you um, energetically. Forgiveness is always for you. It's not about judging others or even yourself. You know, maybe this is what um, spirit is reminding you to forgive yourself for, you know, your past transgressions or for things that may have occurred that you're looking back like, dang, I should have knew better. I should have did better. I should have saw those red flags or should have, could have, would have song, you know. And, you know, if you hadn't gone through what you went through or grew through what you went through, you wouldn't be who you are today. So, you know, it's almost like that butterfly effect. So if you change one thing, everything changes. So it's like, just appreciate the process, appreciate where you are right now um, on your journey because you've come so far and spirit is recognizing that. I feel like spirit is saying like who you are is like night and day. You're a different person. We have Albie Shore here. I feel like spirit is also telling you um, that there is, a, you know, a lot of um, better, you know, better I feel like better days are ahead. That's because that's what I was hearing in my mind's eye. Better days are ahead. And it's almost as like if it's like dependent upon your forgiveness of yourself. Because as I said, as long as you live in the past, your future you won't have much of a future. Things won't move forward or progress for you because you're constantly looking backwards. And if you're looking back, you can't move forward. And so it's like, that's why I said you look back in awareness, learn from it, and keep it pushing. Move forward with the knowing, with the, the knowledge you've obtained from that, and move forward. Because forgiveness is also for yourself. You have to forgive yourself. You can't judge yourself. And you can't, you know, you, you can't fault um, others either. You know, you can't fault yourself for things that you may have done um, previously that you now know better. Um, it's like, that's who you used to be. You're no longer that person because you have transformed. You've gone through some sort of major transformation or major life change, um, which has transformed you into this brand new person. Um, so this forgiveness, I feel is just spirit's way of saying like, you know, you could obsessively be thinking about something. You could be holding on to resentments and animosity. Um, you could be living in a space of doubt and lack and scarcity mindset. And I feel like this is why spirit is saying you have to be sure, um, of your path. You have to be sure and certain of what you desire, what you feel you deserve, um, because the longer you stay stuck in that, that space, um, the more drawn out this experience is going to be. So with happy ending, I do feel like, you know, there are better days ahead. There's something breaking through for you. And yeah, this is what's breaking through. This is the ending and this is the new beginning, you know? So the end of a tough cycle is now ushering in this brand new, beautiful cycle for you. And, you know, the way things may have been in the past is not the way it's going to turn out. And spirit wants you to follow your dreams because maybe that past situation was blocking you. I was picking up that things were delayed and stagnant. You were stuck in a scarcity mindset, even confused, stuck in two minds, unsure, you know, maybe, you know, trying to appease and please others. And now when you break free from that and forgive yourself, for your past tr transgressions or mistakes and you look back in awareness and realize, oh, you know, those were things that I, um, those are things I needed to learn about myself opposed to, you know, blaming yourself for what you didn't know. Um, then you can move forward, you know, you could have a more, um, positive outcome. So let's clarify these messages with the energy Oracle deck. Okay, and let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on, beloveds. So we have a card that is still stuck in there, and that's one of the angels. And that is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, number nine. And so remember what I was saying about you being in the energy of nine, because this 44, 41, and then this uh, 77 all breaks down to nine. And so I feel like this is spirit's way of um, saying this is um, what you need, because the second chakra deals with, you know, prioritizing you. You know, this is about your, you know, your will. This is about doing things 
that, you know, where you're prioritizing you doing things that are going to be best um, suited for you. Two is also about decisions. We have Amel LaRoe singing for real. So this was about you being real with yourself first and foremost and not feeling the need to self-sabotage or to, you know, overcompensate in those former relationships because this 36-9, that's about the self, self-love, self-worth, self-value, but that's also the highest number and vibration of change. The nine is associated with the hermit, so you had to do a lot of work on yourself and that's why I was picking up like spirit had a wish fulfillment coming in because spirit is recognizing all of the work that you've done where you've had to finally make that choice to move in a positive direction because the 44 is also giving me like the eight of cups where you moved away from people, places, and things that could have been draining your energy, people that could have been like superficial, um, fake friends, you know, just there for the ride, but not really there for the right reasons that didn't really have your best interest at heart. And so now you're moving forward positively, moving forward, moving away from those relationships that were um, leaving you emotionally bankrupt. And you had to heal from that because those were tough lessons to learn from. And with Amel LaRoe, for real, I do feel like you are, um, you know, being real with yourself this time around. Like you're not um, living in a fantasy world or you're not ignoring red flags, yellow flags. You're not ignoring anything. You're prioritizing you first and foremost, doing what feels right, sits right in your spirit. That's why we had follow your dreams because now you're doing what you desire to do and you're not trying to appease others or please others um, in this process, in this next junction. We have the um, man holding a coin. So as I said, someone is kind of watching and observing you because this energy right here with the four, this reduces to four, the 44 and the 41. This is a four um, energy. So this is a divine masculine. This is someone very devoted, very, you know, uh, determined, self-reliant, um, resourceful, practical. Um, this is someone very um, giving, caring, nurturing, down to earth. This is someone who... Um, is very uh, financially um, stable, literate. This is like someone who is um, a family man. This could even be spirit saying that you're going to have an offer, like someone could be providing um, some sort of support, being generous in some way, providing you some sense of security. Maybe if you were waiting from, you know, for some news from a job, you know, maybe this is Spirit's way of saying you're getting an offer or there's some money coming in. Or maybe this is someone who's well-to-do that's coming in. And this is real, you know. This is real. This is a real offer. This is someone who really sees something special in you. With this 43-7, they're asserting themselves, as I said. Because that is given like the chariot's energy. This could also be the seven of pentacles. If this is not someone per se, this could be just you. As I said, you, you, you know, your hard work, you've been really grinding, you know, but you have somehow still felt, um, dissatisfied, you know, even, you know, a little frustrated with where you are in your process. And that's just the card that's on the bottom of the deck. But I do feel like someone wants to offer you something tangible. So let me shuffle these cards. Let me get a message of peace, power, protection. We got Buster Rhymes and um, Mary J. Blige. You will never find another me. So this is how someone may feel. The overall energy is that could be, you know, because I want to get another message because that was a bonus message. Um, but I want to get another message to clarify the 44 um, environment. And remember, the 36 just kind of fell out. Um, the second chakra card. So with you will never find another me, I do feel like that's some way, someone who feels like you are very special, you're very rare. You're like an earth angel to someone that you bring them a lot of love. So what did I say? You're like an earth angel, you bring them a lot of love, and in return, they want to return that favor, that gesture. This 45, that's nine. So this is definitely like a wish fulfillment. Nine is associated with that nine of cups I'm seeing. And I'm also seeing like the nine of pentacles. So a man holding a coin and now you got a man holding a heart. So someone definitely has a lot of love because we're clarifying the screen 
44 remember i said you're attracting someone that's made in your likeness and i feel like the angels are definitely you know aligning you with someone that is on your frequency and vibration and this is based on the work that you've done on yourself the fours are associated with the heart chakra and the fact that there's two is just confirming you're attracting someone made in your likeness you're attracting someone on your same frequency and vibration and it's confirmed by them holding this heart so this is someone whose heart chakra is wide open this is someone who's and this is the synchronicity because you got 44 and 45 so 44 45 is also a synchronicity you know if it's not a synchronicity it's just those numbers are you know they're they're in order they're in line in alignment and the angel is right between this this union you know you can see an angel right here right in in the middle because the overall energy you know so this is an angel who is in fact aligning you with the right person and it's just going to be a matter of um, the right timing because you got nine and nine with the 36 that's nine and then this person is 45 so this is nothing but synchronicity 44 is is a synchronicity that's double number and then you got nine nine because this angel um the second chakra that's nine and this is also nine so you're definitely mirroring someone and someone's mirroring you just as i said with this 44 card two people who have healed their heart chakra who have taken the necessary time to work on the self and with buster rhymes you will never find another me this person realizes that you're rare they realize you're rare they realize they will never f go out here in this world and find another you especially someone whose heart is as open someone who is a safe place someone who has emotional intelligence someone who's caring giving empathic compassionate kind thoughtful forgiving someone who allows them to be them themselves this is someone who's watching you. I strongly get someone watching you. And this man holding a coin is here. So who or what you're attracting to you? This person is ready and prepared, I feel like, to make an offer. If this isn't an offer of love, um, like a tangible gift, like a ring, an engagement ring, or a wedding ring, or someone just like proposing or, you know, making, taking things to the next level, asking you to be their lady or asking you to be their man, this is definitely like, I feel like you're getting some sort of um, financial blessing or reward. I feel like if this is an employer or some job you may have applied for, someone realizes like they're never going to get another, um, you know, applicant whose resume looks like yours, who has the credentials you have or the experience you have, who has the, the knowledge, you know, that you have. And so they're going to make an offer. And we have Sean Price 1. So one is manifestation. That's the number of the magician. I magi. Rest in power, Sean. Rest in power, Bob. So Archangel Michael is falling out of my hand. So Archangel Mikael is the one that is assisting you. This is this could have been who has been kind of imparting the knowledge. And look at the sun is there as well. This is beautiful. So Archangel is the Michael is the one that's um, ushering in this happy ending because remember we had that song by pastor um tl uh and it was called um something about and i was saying about adorning a crown on your head and so with self-discipline this is you know the number associated with the hierophant and the hierophant is you know that is a very studious energy that's someone learning and growing under you know the under the um how should i say this they're they're growing and learning you know under um the tutelage of like a master teacher you know this is an elder this is someone who has um occult information and i feel as i said like whatever was keeping you stuck and stagnant it's like your your angels are here to assist you and aid you in this process like they're aligning you with what you are destined to have and with this 
self-discipline i feel like that's your angel's way of saying they recognize they recognize your work they recognize your tenacity they recognize what you've been doing you know and your angels are protecting you who are what you're attracting to you archangel Mikael is, is is cutting you free from anyone anything that doesn't serve your highest good and this 8 and 41 this is the same energy as the 44 and the 41 that initially came out with the numerology deck because the 44 is 8 and then the 41 remember I said it all breaks down to 4 and so the same thing is applicable this is the transformation Archangel Mikael was assisting you during this transformation Archangel Mikael is going to also assist you with cutting you free from any faulty belief systems habits and behaviors or they're going to cut you free from people that may be trying to hold you back or keep you stagnant or keep you stuck. Because five could be a challenging energy. And so you being self-determined and self-reliant and disciplined um, requires you to make decisions that you very well may not want to make or that you very well uh, may be having some difficulties making. Because there could still be this this energy of you recovering from past hurts which is why you were in that reminiscent energy or kind of reminiscing and ruminating and this you know that energy of nostalgia so archangel Mikael with the eight you know maybe he's cutting you free from the confusion from the self-imposed mental anguish and it's being restored with strength you're, you're now regaining your strength with the assistance of your angels this is beautiful and the sun here Someone is realizing your light. Someone is realizing, you know, your power, your beauty. Someone is realizing you are love. We have Toro Yi Moi Kola. And let me get a translation for this. Toro Yi Moi. Some of these songs I hear in like, I used to hear in the um, bodegas in New York and um, all right what does it mean can I get the meaning and so I just downloaded them because I love them and look at that the singer is also a Scorpio he was born in 11 7 some of you could be could have been born 11 7 1986 there was a reason I went and looked this up so let's see what the meaning is All right, so it says the meaning tor, toro and gi. So bull, the bull in me. It seems like so many people got different meanings. But the bull in me. So for bull, I just get, you know, because that's your, the bull is um, Taurus. It's associated with Taurus. So maybe that's just stubbornness. And remember, I was getting like you being very guarded. And that's why spirit put, you know, this card actually came out surrender. Because maybe some of you are being stubborn. Maybe some of you are being very guarded as I was picking up. And maybe you will realize that. Maybe you will have some sort of epiphanous moment. I do feel like you're also someone, um, you know, because bulls also represent a sense of like just strong will, you know, you're, you're just a very strong willed person. You cannot be moved or shaken, you know, and so maybe there is this way in that this person may have like, oh, I know how um, to approach Scorpio or I know what to say to Scorpio. The fact that this person that sings this song um, is, you know, a Scorpio is very, um, interesting to me as well. Nothing is coincidental or accidental. So let's tap in. Why is this 77? Wow. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Look at this. What is this? 81 anxiety. So a lot of stress and anxiety. I was picking this up. Remember all these cards reduced to nine. Your, your energy, I was saying, I was telling you that this is all a nine. And I was picking up 
just you know you being very guarded this is anxious energy so this is living in your head ruminating pining everything i said and next we have justice didn't i say that you're going to have justice in a situation and i always see justice but the six is associated with the lovers so maybe you are a little nervous or a little um you know confused because this is how someone feels about you so let's just not you know forget that part but this also could be the energy you're kind of like how you're presenting in someone else's and someone else's eyes and so this is showing like with contract that could speak to you know a marriage um as i was saying like someone could be going through a divorce and there's a lot of anxieties and stress and worry maybe concerning the outcome of that but i feel things are going to be balanced out very beautifully because this 14 5 and the 6 11 you're getting your just due all of these cards reduced to 11 77 is 15 i mean yes 15 so that's five i said 15 14 7 7 is 14 which is five and then this six so five and six is 11 and this nine is the same thing it's 11. so what i'm seeing here is I'm definitely getting a sense of like, you know, you have been through something very painful and there's a lot of confusion surrounding this. Maybe you're worried about the outcome. You're worried about what's going to happen. And I feel like spirit is saying you didn't, you needn't worry because everything is going to work out in your favor. I was telling you, I was seeing justice and things were going to be justified. As you can see, the scales are here. So I feel like these were lessons you had to learn. Those books always denote lessons learned, knowledge obtained. And so it's almost like you're worrying about nothing. We have the Lords of the Underground playing. And so what's sticking to me, sticking out to me, um, is Chief Raka. So I do feel like you, you, you have been, you know, someone who has overcome a lot of these dark, um, periods in your life. And that, that it's, it makes sense why you could be a little apprehensive or a little stressed out, but the trick is not to stay stuck in the past. The other cards that flew out, you got the man holding a coin. So there is someone that wants to offer you love. This is new love. So this could be someone coming in to help heal your heart, repair your heart. You know, you've been doing a lot of work, you know, with underground. That's like, you know, unseen, you know, things that were working internally, things that were working behind the scenes, not for everyone else to see. And so that's why there's a lot of, you know, anxieties and stress that you could be kind of navigating through. You've been through a lot. You've definitely experienced a lot of pain, definitely experienced a lot of disappointment, but the angels are coming in to give you some balance, to give you a sense of harmonization. I feel like you found that sense of peace and now you are aligning with your divine partner because you have woman holding a heart, I mean a coin and man holding a coin. So you've been able to acquire your own on your own. This is that independence that you've had to tap into, whether you're feminine or masculine, it's applicable. So, you know, tapping into your own independence is what's making your foundation um, more solid. It's what's making you obtain this happiness because you feel self-sufficient. So you had to break free from codependency in order to enjoy independence. And now you can enjoy partnership commitment with someone who is a like mind as i said you're attracting a like mind because the 77 is also a double number which tells me you're attracting someone on your frequency so all the spiritual work and all of the discipline all of the drive everything is coming into balance and harmony this 48 breaks down to 12 which is three you are seen as a divine feminine if you're masculine you are seen as a divine masculine and they are attractive, they are powerful, master manifestors, they are sorcerers, they know how to co-create, they create and birth new ideas, new ways of thinking. You're walking away from faulty belief systems, we're about to pull a card for surrender. So you're walking away from things that may have you feeling bound, stuck, stagnant. This is you walking away from even belief systems, we have the Isley Brothers, make me say it again, girl. 
Someone's name could be Isley. And if you look at the name of the channel, it's Love 112, which breaks down to four. So this could be a divine masculine that could be, you know, um, expressing that they love you. Make me say it again, girl. Maybe this is how they catch your attention. With this 91 surrender, I do feel like something's coming full circle because that does give me like the wheel of fortune. This could be someone you've already walked away from and maybe they're going to say something that's going to capture your attention. Sun is back on the bottom of the deck and the happy family flew out. So spirit is saying that there's something that could absolutely work out in your favor. Whoever or whatever this is, this divine masculine, they have this family. Maybe someone is going to propose. Someone is going to ask for someone's hand in marriage or someone's going to ask to take things to the next level. This is going to result in you feeling happier, feeling very much um, fulfilled emotionally. And there goes a rainbow there. And I mentioned the rainbow that I saw yesterday. So that's confirmation. Those could be synchronicities some of you may be seeing, which could be a sign that there could be someone coming towards you. You may be having a lot of lucid dreams. I definitely feel someone's going to express something to you because this 91 and 4 reduces to 5. And so maybe when you speak to someone, they're going to say something. And you're going to be like, what? And they're going to be like, you're going to make me say it again. And you're going to be like, yes, yeah, say, what did you say? I didn't hear you, but you heard him. But you just want to make sure you heard what you heard. That's what I'm getting a sense of with the sun. This is definitely just confirming and veggie back in that. There are some beautiful times ahead. We are in a very uh, beautiful time because it's the new moon. It's also Sirius and the star. Um, I'm sorry, the Sirius star and the sun are all in alignment. So it's a very powerful time of, you know, coming into some new energy. And so I feel like that's why you may have some new beginnings transpiring now, because I feel there's just definitely um, a turn. Something's taking a turn for the better. Look at this. Look what's, look what's underneath that. The door to personal healing and happiness. The time is yours now. This is your time, Scorpios. This is definitely your time. I'm feeling strongly like, you know, spirit is, is rewarding you and recognizing you for things that you've done in the past. And I feel when you forgive someone for their effort, you know, for their actions, their past transgression, tr transgressions, then it, it, it just brings your blessings in quickly. And we have Archangel um, Raphael, another angel. So you have Archangel Uriel, Michael, and now Raphael. And so the heart healing, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, showing compassion, not judging others. This is also what rapidly brings in the love. And I also feel this is why someone is strategizing a plan, trying to figure out the best course of action, what to say, what to do. You know, this is someone that is wanting justice in this situation. But this is also a decision someone is having to make, you know, trying to choose the right course of action or choose the right um, approach. We got a deceitful person here. So make sure, you know, like I said, even if you were dealing with a devil, because I was picking up, you know, you had some devil energy that you were, you know, learning some valuable lessons from. Spirit, once you forgive this person that deceived and betrayed and backstabbed and lied and cheated and stole from you. They want you to forgive that person because when you carry resentment, animosity, and contempt, and disdain, and anger, then that only holds you back. And that's also a sign that you're living in the past, that you're living in the hurt, you know, and that is something you have to heal. So this person that hurts you, spirit is saying you have to forgive them. Archangel Mikael is fully aware. Your angels are fully aware of what is done, what has been done to you. And they will handle whatever karmic debts others are, you know, are guilty of. They will handle that. Let your angels, uh, you know, handle those things for you. You also have the thinking woman. So thinking woman, this is what spirit wants you to do. To be mindful of your strategy. It is 11-11 on the clock, as you can see. 
So 11, 11, and then my battery life is 7, 7. So this 11, 11 is showing me that there's definitely someone that, my apologies, my daughter was calling. So again, so this energy here with the forgiveness, I do feel like this is you, you know, as that thinking woman, you know, this is you utilizing your intuition. This is also that 11 energy, which is justice. So you're, you're making a decision here. When it comes to this deceitful person, you don't have to fall into the trap of getting duped or, you know, getting distracted by this person. You just simply forgive them and keep it pushing. We see that you've learned a lot of lessons. You have a lot of books around you and you're clearly heading up this path. This person could be trying to distract you off your path. And that's what you have to be mindful of because that's what the devil does. The devil is a trickster, he's a liar, but you are very wise. So that's why I was picking up earlier decisions that you may need to make um, and needing to trust your intuition. This is the decision because that 11 breaks down to two. So you have to choose wisely. And this here with the forgiveness, Spirit is saying you don't have to hold on to anything that's going to weigh you down um because whatever this devil is doing spirit knows spirit sees all and that's why your angels are coming up showing up in this reading so with this 11 you're going to get your just deuce we clearly see you know this butterfly here which speaks to rebirth transformation and startling metamorphosis so you've obviously changed and you're still learning in this process um you could even see you know that you are adorned what a it looks like you have some sort of crown or headpiece on and remember that song that played er earlier so i am getting a sense of someone oh nice and cold pardon me my throat was getting blocked but i am getting a sense of like someone trying to come through and deceive you you know this is a very jealous and envious person also so be mindful because this is someone that is like, you know, trying to sabotage or block something um, that you are destined to have. You know, they could be trying to sabotage this happy ending with this new energy that's coming through. And spirit is just like, you know, look alive, be aware. Um, and you don't have to fall into that same vib low vibration of, you know, hate and, and disdain. But, you know, just be mindful that you do have someone who is. Um, very much, um, you know, focused on you right now. So we have aha take on me. So you may be having some sort of aha moment, epiphanous moment, as I said, uh, of this person that's trying to take over or take on some sort of persona or take on some sort of, um, just like take on something. It's like this, that's what I'm just picking up. You know, like, is this a fake person wearing a mask? Maybe you may see something that's going to be very mind, you know, it's just going to remind you or it's going to make you aware. As I said earlier, pay attention to the red flags. Maybe that will be it. What we have on the bottom of the deck, look at this. I can't make this up. This is the Magi. I, Magi Nation, the magician. So you are the alchemist. You are the magician. You are a sorcerer. And look at this sneaky person sneaking in as this person is resting. So this is the seven of swords. Remember I was speaking to seeing like the seven of swords and this is that energy of someone who is very manipulative. You know, this is a sneaky person, a deceitful person. This is someone who is like almost like it's like they were sleeping with the enemy even. This is someone secretly plotting and planning, you know, and you may have an aha moment about who this person is in your life or you may see something because remember we had that 1818 and that could be like the mirror reflecting from, you know, because that's like moon energy. So that's like shadow work. So maybe, you know, you, you and this person, there was like a reflection, you know, they were reflecting back to you something that you may have needed to work on yourself and vice versa. But this is just that energy of someone who's really, um, you know, really um, toxic, dark. Um, vengeful, hateful, um, a gaslighter, you know, a liar, someone who speaks with a forked tongue. So let's clarify these messages with the tarot cards. And then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Sheo. So the mind scared of peace, power, protection. What's coming in for my beloved Scorpios? I'm sorry if this is loud in your ear. But I want to get a good shuffle on the cards. I want to make sure. 
Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. I do see you coming into union with someone made in your likeness. And look at that. The King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And remember, you have the King of Pentacles here along with the Queen of Pentacles. I always associate the woman holding a coin and man holding a coin with the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this is a beautiful energy and beautiful confirmation. So I am feeling like you have someone here um, that is definitely wanting to make a generous offer. This is someone that is, um, you know, willing to commit. You know, this is someone that's willing to put in the work. This is someone that can see family, legacy, happily ever after, you know, happy spouse, happy house type of vibes, a very um, giving person, supportive person, someone who's got it their ish together. Like this is a well uh, traveled person, someone who's been to many places. So we have on the bottom of the deck overall energy and we have this six of wands. So you are going to outsmart this devil, this shaitan energy that's trying to deceive you. The Six of Wands is telling me that you are moving forward. The Six of Wands is telling me that if someone does try to come around and, you know, distract you off your path, that you are not falling for the okie doke. You can see his arms are straight down and he's not accepting anything that this shaitanic energy has to offer. This is all an illusion. You can see the puff of smoke. You can see all that he brings is just confusion, and this person isn't falling for it. We have Michelle and Dale Cello playing Fool of Me. So this is someone who is going to feel very foolish for trying to play you. Um, but this person definitely um, is very, um, you know, is going to be very... Um, I feel this is someone coming in intentionally trying to distract you because they see that you have so many good things coming. So this person is like, you know, as I said, if you look behind this shaitanic energy, anything with wearing a hood, and, you know, and you can't really see the face and you can see clearly like some sort of um, some sort of uh, what is that? Like a portal that he just entered in and he's like handing him something and this person isn't and he's not buying it. So the six of wands is like. You're on this path to victory and success and someone's trying to come in and steal your joy. But it's going to be full, full, you know, shame on them and they're going to pay for it. Archangel Mikael is watching. He's literally right next to this card and he's watching and he's going to cut this person off, you know, completely and indefinitely. You may have been dealing with someone that was just a, like just constantly um, duping you or manipulating you in the past. And, and maybe that's why I was picking up, like, some of y'all may have been, you know, blaming yourselves, like, because you didn't pay attention to the red flags. Or maybe the same person um, got you several times. You got got by the same person several times. Or you felt, you know, like you gave someone chance after chance and they only backstabbed you each time and you just felt foolish. And so you could be, like, you know, kind of blaming yourself kind of just frustrated and upset living in the past, as I was saying. But I feel like Spirit is saying it's it's time to move past that. With judgment, We what did I say about your angels are going to deal with your, you know, with those karmic debts? They're going to come back to, you know, to um, get those payments for the karmic debt. So anything anyone has done, you know, any ill intentions, any seed sowed and bad or ill f faith, it, they're going to pay for that. And Archangel Mikael is coming back for retribution, you know. But this judgment, again, that aha that we just had uh, take on me, someone is having this epiphanous moment, but I also feel what you're attracting to you is, um, you know, something new. You know, I feel like there's something, you know, maybe you're getting justice in this situation and it's because your angel, Archangel Mikael, is watching over you and protecting you. I feel there's also just this recognition of your maturation and your growth and your transformation. Why is 41 self-discipline, 35 First chakra, Archangel Mikael. First chakra is ruled by Scorpios. And what did I say about the Eight of Swords? That's that mental anguish. That's confusion, delusion. You know, but you can see clearly someone manipulating this person or someone, you know, this could even be a figment of their imagination, imagining themselves stuck. And so they are, you know, that could be self-imposed. This could be the monster that they have to face, you know, and conquer. You know, but this also could speak to someone who may 
have been in some sort of uh, compromising situation with someone who is using voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santaria to keep someone trapped or blocked. And they could be inside of this vessel summoning their angels and Archangel Mikael shows up to protect this person and to come to their aid. So this is powerful. What flew out is we have the King of Wands. So this King of Wands with self-discipline, I'm definitely getting a sense of you feeling like some of y'all was dealing with um, a fire sign. Some of you all are taking your power back. Some of you all are asserting yourselves. Some of you all have learned some lessons in terms of you are the Magi in your situation. So you can manifest your own reality. And we have heart here. So a lot of you had to, you know, open up your heart chakra. And this is called What About Love? So I do feel like with self-discipline, you had to learn to love yourself. That is, in fact, an inside job. You can't love anyone else unless you love yourself. And maybe you were in a relationship and everything, um, you, you, you were, you know, perhaps like in a marriage or in a partnership or in a commitment in, you know, some sort of common law marriage. And you had everything except for love. And you were questioning, what about love? You know, what about love? We, we share this, we share the finances, we, we take on all this other responsibility, but what about love? I'm not feeling the love. You know, on the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Swords, definitely confusion. This is a very manipulative energy. I feel like this is someone who's definitely like has a dark spirit or some sort of ill intention. Like they, they, they love to see you hurt or in pain or love to see you struggle. Like this is someone who takes pride in seeing another one, another person, um, you know, be downtrodden. Like this is someone who, who just, he, they, they take pride in seeing someone else, um, hurting. This is a very sick person. You know, this is someone who's very sick. Why is 77 spirituality, 18 anxiety, six contract, nine broken heart, 48 angel of balance, 43 man holding a coin, 42 woman holding a coin here for who or what or how this person or what Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. Thank you. And the bottom of the deck, we have the three of wands, some sort of reunion, reuniting with someone, even as if, if this is with yourself. And we have the knight of swords. So there could be some sort of message. And then we have the three of swords. So this is just confirming that this is why you felt heartbroken. Because you was dealing with someone who was just like very callous and careless with, you know, the way that they communicated. You know, as I said earlier, like dealing with someone abusive because I was picking up someone grew up in group homes or someone grew up in, you know, maybe even, you know, um, in a, a family, you know, that wasn't very supportive or maybe they were in a relationship where, you know, there was no love, you know, and, and this this is just speaks to abuse, whether it's verbal, physical, you know, mental, this, this abuse was, cons was a constant in this relationship. And you finally got to the point where you were numb. You know, you can see that you're numb here. These, these gossip mongers, these ghosts, whoever this person was, it was like, I feel like for a long time they lived in your head, you know, cause that's what some, that's what manipulated manipulators do the, you know, and gaslighters do. They, they, they try to, um, control the way that you think. You know, if they can control the way you think or manipulate you or gaslight you, um, then they got you. They got you right where they want you. And I feel like you got to the point where, you know, maybe this person um, time and time again um, just had you in, you know, an energy of feeling, um, you know, low self-esteem, you know, not feeling good about yourself to the point where you could have been, you know, kind of depressed and didn't want to get out of the bed and didn't want to really engage or you really didn't do anything. The things you enjoy doing, your passions and some of your favorite hobbies, you just kind of stop doing it. And that's why we saw that card of, you know, follow your dreams because you kind of put everything on the back burner, you know, and just follow this person, every beck and call, you know, and it's just like you were just digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole following whomever this person was. And that was their plan, their master plan all along because you was dealing with a Decepticon. You know, this is someone who's very intentional about what they're doing and they use, 
you know, they use tactics like manipulation and love bombing and gaslighting and, you know, lying and cheating and stealing to get by. And so, you know, when we saw that Seven of Swords energy uh, where that person was sneaking in while you were resting, you realize, you know, you were sleeping with the enemy. You were sleeping with someone who's doing things behind your back um, while you was resting. They could have been creeping out and you know, having other relationships with other people and then sneaking in the house when you was resting, trying to sneak back in the bed. Like you, you could have done, you know, and this is male or female, like whomever experienced that, that was your story where you finally saw something. You know, there was a lot of secrets and a lot of things hidden in this connection and it caused a lot of heartache, but that contract is up, you know, it's like, you know, mama, my aunt has everyone's address. You know, you lived in a constant state of fear, anxiety, stress, worry, you know, and finally you started to listen to your intuition. Finally, you started to trust your inner gumption. You started to speak energy and you started to do what sat right in your spirit. And although you were heartbroken, um, you were able to recover. You were able to find that balance. So whomever, you know, how they feel about you is like now you're you're closed off you 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 got their number you're no longer afraid you're fighting back you can see she has a book here you know and you could be reciting your own scripture you can be reading you know the basic instructions before leaving earth and they're becoming shocked that you are breaking the curse yoke hex it's like you are taking your power back and you're not um afraid you're not living in fear you're not paralyzed in fear anymore and whomever may be coming to you whatever is hidden this happy family and surrender. This is like you're reuniting with someone from your past. I get a strong sense of this being someone that you may know already, that you may have planted seeds and roots with, because uh, we have this 44, which is a very green, earthy card. And I always get like the Eight of Pentacles with this card as well, where it feels like someone is coming in willing to build, to grow, to nurture, to cultivate a relationship. We got Rick James, Ebony Eyes, playing. And so we have this um, ebony eyes. So someone may love your eyes. Someone may love the shape of your eyes. You may have some beautiful brown eyes. Someone's name could be Rick, James, Smokey, or Robinson. As I was picking up earlier, someone could be like a heavy chief. Like they could smoke a lot of green, a lot of herb, chief a lot of green. Um, with this three, I do feel someone wants to reunite with you. Someone wants to come back. Why is this 91 surrender and four happy family here for what's hidden? And the energy for my beloved Scorpios. Wow, you got a lot of messages. And we have the King of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. So this is someone very reserved that keeps their feelings to themselves. This is that person that I probably was picking up on earlier, you know, that has difficulties communicating because when I was picking up on this energy here, my throat was blocking and I was coughing initially, choking. So this is someone that does have difficulty expressing themselves or communicating themselves. Look what we have here, the Wheel of Fortune. Remember I mentioned the Wheel of Fortune. And so this is what you have here. So this is turning around. That's why Spirit is saying it's okay to, to surrender to this love. You also have the Ace of Chalices. So this is a new love here. This is a new love offer. This is someone that's definitely watching you. You can see this eye. They're learning from you as well. They've been watching and learning you know, the entire time. And I feel like something is coming full circle with whomever this person is. Whatever is hidden, this person is finally mustering up that strength, that courage, that wise dome to come towards you. With Remember the four of chalices, they may feel like they've missed some sort of opportunity. And that could also be the reason why I was picking up on apprehension. We also have the two of principles. Maybe someone was juggling in the past. This is another person wearing a hood, so they were wearing a mask, not being their authentic self. You can see that this person is trying to take this person out in an alleyway. There is a book here with the symbols um, eight, which is the infinity symbols. And that eight, 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 you know, that the eights break down to, that breaks down to the number 23, which breaks down to five. And so this five to me is the same energy of who, what you're attracting to you, self-discipline. So this is someone who is going to, you know, they're going to stand erect. They're going to communicate how they feel and they're going to fight back. You know, this is a very challenging energy. Um, this is someone that has definitely has um, some, from some vengeance in their heart. 
Um, but I feel like you are uh, coming out of the situation um, very um, satisfied, regardless of what this person is attempting to do. Remember, your angels are absolutely watching. This is someone who has had it out for you. You know, this is someone who has like, remember when I said this is someone who takes um, pride in seeing you hurt or seeing you in pain or this is someone that is like, you see what they're doing. They're trying to literally kill you. So be mindful. You know, you, you got some vengeful, dark energy here. So it's very important for you to um, do your due diligence to protect yourself um, and to be mindful of who you have in your cipher, who you're sharing your personal information with. We have the 10 of chalices here as well. So you do have someone who could be a little jealous that you're moving on because I feel like this is that same person here, you know, that's feeling like, you know, it's almost like self-loathing. What was me then and broke your heart. You know, they done did whatever. There was a, you know, third party situation going on perhaps, or maybe they had other people they were juggling and the moment you move on now, they, you know, want to show interest and you're not falling for the okie doke. And so now they turn into this crazed maniac that, you know, has some, some issue, um, with rejection, but it was okay when they rejected you and showed unrequited love. They may come around with a very, um, manipulative offer. This is like emotional manipulation because this is the Knight of Cups. So you don't want to accept, you know, a Knight of Cups when you have, you know, this King of Cups. And maybe that's the same person. But just be mindful not to be duped. I feel like you won't be mindful. Whether you're masculine or feminine, you're definitely trusting your intuition. So let's tap in. Why is 96 forgiveness, 25 deceit here, and the thinking woman, and we got the fool which flew out. So this is the fool. This person is angry. You see his face. Remember we had Fool of Me playing by Michelle and Dale Cello. And we was talking about this energy here when we were pulling this card. So this person definitely was feeling foolish because you're not accepting anything um, that isn't feeling right or sitting right in your spirit anymore. You're not just going to be willing to jump, skip and dive and fall in love with this person again or to, you know, fall into another relationship with this person again because you're now doing what feels right with you. You're now, um, you know, cutting yourself free from what doesn't feel right. So you are protecting yourself, protecting your heart. That's this energy I was picking up with you already was you are very guarded. And spirit is like, you know, open up and be receptive because you do have love coming in, but you also have to use your first eye to see because you also have past love that could be trying to sabotage the new love. Or you may have a past love trying to distract you so that you cannot get to um, this new love offer. But there is a new opportunity nonetheless. With this fool, this straight jacket, someone could be crazed. Someone could have mental illness, um, you know, challenges. Someone could be a little mentally conflicted. You know, this is like anguishing. And as I said earlier, I was picking up on someone who could be very obsessive or possessive. Um, this could be even someone who's like me, my, like me, 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 my, my, my. You know, because the king of wands, they want what they want. You know, a fire sign, they can, they, they rule that, that planet Mars. So their anger can be very, it can be very, um, intense. And with this fool in a stray jacket surrounded by a bunch of monsters, I feel someone is forced almost to deal with their own demons. You know, these are the demons that live within this person's mind, but you see this face. He almost looks like the Joker to me before the Joker faces, you know, churns, you know, and, and the Joker, remember he was in the insane asylum. So that's what this person is looking like to me. And this is that same energy here. And spirit is like, you know, be, you can forgive someone, but you don't take them back. You could for, forgive someone, but you don't have to believe anything they're saying because they're still in a devil energy. The forgiveness is for you when you're holding on um, to anger and animosity. It's like, they are still in control. Whoever angers you controls you. That's why spirit is reminding you to forgive because it's for you. And we have Misty Blue playing by um, Dorothy Moore. Misty Blue. And Misty Blue is really about, you know, um, it's like a melancholy song, you know. 
but misty blue is like you know someone could be shedding some tears with blue i am also getting a sense of like this is communication like someone will be communicating to you some sort of sob story and it is one of deceit so don't fall for the okie doke put on your thinking caps turn on your you know use your first eye to see because I feel like this person is, you know, trying to fool you and dupe you. And you have to be smarter than that. Um, what we have on the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Pentacles all over again. So you do have a genuine, sincere offer. And Spirit is saying the making of you. So whatever this offer is, even if this isn't an offer of love or someone offering commitment, I do feel like this could be an offer, you know, of a pay increase, a job offer, um, some sort of legal matters turning in your favor and it's going to put you in a better place financially and the makings of you this is just the beginnings this is the makings of a new and improved you this is the makings of you having you know that happy ending where the sun was shining and your opportunities are going to start to flourish so let's get a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up i'll show yo and look what we have on the bottom of this deck i cannot make this up so it says, voila, recognition. And remember, I was speaking to this fact that you all were being recognized for your hard work because we clearly see that you've had to recover from a lot of heartache and pain. You've had to get out of your head. You know, you've had to, you know, look at all this, you know, the three of swords and the broken heart. This is just double confirmation, you know, of what you've had to endure to get to this place now. And um, you're being recognized for all of that. And your angels are recognizing it because your angels have showed up repeatedly in this reading. And it says the universe will help you recognize signs and miracles. Didn't I speak to you about synchronicities? That's what opened up the reading. So there's going to be a lot of synchronicities to let you know that you're on the right path and you're doing the right thing to keep going, to not look back and be self-loathing or worrying or in that energy of you know concern and anxiousness it's about trust in the process and walking in faith and not by sight so let's tap in and let's see what the cards have to say look at this open be open open to new open to you know these experiences um let me make sure my cards okay yeah they are so you have to be open and receptive that's why spirit is telling you to surrender because when you're blocked off cut off guarded super protective nothing can come to you and a lot of you were working on your heart chakra and that's why this 44 environment card is here because there was a, a lot of healing that was necessary clearly a lot of healing that was necessary because you suffered from heartache and loss and pain so you had to heal that heart chakra you know and you had to heal from doing the internal work and it says you start to feel your heart beat faster as you get closer some of you can be picking up on the sense that something beautiful is coming in for you why is this 44 environment 36 archangel ariel second chakra 45 man holding a heart and the six of wands here for the overall energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit get a message of peace power and protection thank you admiration so someone is admiring you whoever this person is they have adoration admiration it says, it's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. So someone is looking at you with admiration, with love, with appreciation. They're valuing you. They're probably seeing you for the first time ever. Because this is the first time they've ever been able to, um, to really acknowledge your beauty. Maybe these are things they overlooked in the past. As I said, this could be someone you knew from their past. This could be someone you've planted seeds and roots with. And maybe you will be, you know, kind of not accepting of the offer that they, you know, initially uh, make because of the troubled past. And Spirit is saying, this person is admiring you from afar. With let go, I feel like there could be someone that needs to let go of, you know, perhaps some sort of um, anger or frustration. Uh, with this 41 self-discipline, you know, someone needs to learn to take accountability, to take onus for their actions, take onus for their hurt or their pain or their experience, because maybe I'm just picking up like projection. And as I said, with this King of Wands, they could be very self-centered, me, 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 I, I, I. And with this Archangel Mikael here, I feel like Archangel Mikael is kind of cutting you free, 
you know, from someone or something that could have been very controlling, manipulative, conniving even. Someone that doesn't have your best interests at heart. Someone who could have helped to mature you. You know, someone who could have helped you to find your voice or your gifts or your passions because you had to navigate this, you know, tough terrain, this tough relationship. It says some things are best, best left, um, some things are best let go and let the universe work it out in its divine time. And so I was picking up on, you know, temperance, you know, and things happening, you know, for, you know, during, in a divine timing, you know, and the perfect timing is divine timing, not when we see fit. But spirit is saying, this is something you have to let go. And I feel like that's why spirit showed up because whatever this king of, you know, this wand fire energy is that you're associated with, um, I feel like spirit is saying that that's something that, you know, and that could be very symbolic of anger as well. Um, because as I said, that, that they rule, um, planet, uh, what is that? Is it Mars? I can't even remember. Yeah. Mars. Now we have Cupid here on the bottom of the deck. So love is in the air. Your angels are definitely, um, sending someone super special. So a bunch of cards flew out and I'm going to use it to clarify these messages. So we have reconciliation. So I feel like, you know, because we saw that, let it go. Um, spirit is saying, you know, learn to reconcile with yourself. So many of you could have been, you know, judging yourselves and, and blaming and faulting yourselves for something you may have endured in the past. And that's why you had to, you know, become self-disciplined. That's why you had to learn to practice self-love and self-care because maybe you was self-sabotaging in a relationship with the King of Wands who may have overpowered you and made you feel powerless in a situation because they can be very, um, they can be very controlling. Um, they do want things their way. They do want things to move the way that they see fit. And with reconciliation, who or what you're attracting to you, someone may want very well to reconcile. This could be someone that you have been in a marriage or a partnership with because that tree is very symbolic of some sort of family roots and connection. Um, and they could very well want this or very well, um, this could be a desire of yours at one space, at one place in, you know, one moment in time. But Archangel Mikael is here with the sword, um, kind of observing this connection. You know, I feel like Ob Archangel Mikael is going to cut you free from things that do not serve your highest good. What we have here is 1111. So it says... Um, 1111 is an important number for twin flames, symbolizing harmony and balance in soulmates. So how someone feels about you is you are their divine counterpart, because we do see here clearly, um, they feel like you match their fly, you know, like you are on the same frequency and vibration, because remember we had man holding a heart and woman holding a heart. And so that would definitely symbolize, um, some sort of twin flame partnership union, um, connection here with these two people, um, that are in the same vibration, the seven and the six, it breaks down to 13, which is four. So that's love. So that's the same vibration of 1111. So that's how they feel about you, that you are their twin flame, their soulmate. We do have that seven, seven spirituality, which is another frequency of, uh, synchronicity. And remember we had that card that said synchronicity. Um, so that is really showing you that there is someone, um, who does feel like you align perfectly with them. We have indication here and it says, watch for signs that lead you to true love. So you will be led to true love and you will know, um, what feels like love and what doesn't. And when someone is trying to stab you in a back alley and juggling you at the same time, because this is the two of pentacles, um, that doesn't feel like love. You don't feel like a priority to someone. Um, this person obviously regrets that, but spirit is saying there's going to be some clear signs that someone cares about you. And those clear signs are going to be, someone is going to be generous. Someone is going to be supportive. Someone is going to bring happiness and joy. Someone is going to feel like a safe space. And that's why spirit is saying that is what you could surrender to, because this is what's coming back 
around for you. This is what you could surrender and open up yourself to because it's coming full circle. It's like something's turning around in your favor. Um, what doesn't feel right, sit right in your spirit is what you don't um, do. But you will feel those indications that something is meant for you. Um, there will be signs, there will be synchronicities, and obviously there will be real love. Um, study, let love show you how to learn from each other. So whatever or whomever um, you've been learning from now, remember you got the thinking woman. So I do feel like you have learned a lot from whomever this devil was, whomever this person that had a lot of afflictions, addictions, um, you know, just a lot of demons, a lot of secrets, a lot of things that they were hiding from themselves, a lot of things that they may not have even known about themselves, um, ego and pride. It's like you've had to navigate this situation um, and learn from it. And we see clearly with these books, that's what you've been doing. You've been learning. You've been in a place where you've been maturing and making decisions that were um, going to lead to happiness and lead to your success. What we have playing right now is AZ featuring Nas, give me yours. So whoever this person was, was a taker. Um, this is someone that wanted to take. And I was picking up someone very manipulative, conniving, a thief, someone who um, definitely would rob and steal and kill to get what they wanted. Um, lastly, we have challenge. So this person was brought into your life. They were brought into your life to challenge you. And it says all true soul connections involve challenges that could be overcome together. And so with this forgiveness for some of you, and I'm hearing a very small selection of you, there is a chance that someone that you are no longer with could very well be returning into your life. And spirit is telling you that there is an opportunity or a potential um, for you know something to be recovered in that connection. Um, if there are signs that that person has grown as the same as you, like if they've showed that they have matured and have grown and have had some sort of spiritual uh, awakening, then there is an opportunity to perhaps reconcile that connection. If you are dealing with a straight devil, that is not what spirit is saying. Spirit is simply saying, forgive that person, show compassion, show forgiveness, do not judge and move on because that's what's going to open up the door to personal healing and happiness for you to receive the love and Cupid is ready to shoot that arrow at you and it says love is in the air when Cupid is around so you do have new love offers when you are in your divine feminine divine masculine energy you're always more attractive so I do feel someone is ready someone's watching someone has their eye on you someone's ready to make an offer I also feel like some of you have exes that are still keeping tabs still keeping you know you know still keeping their um, they, they still have you in their energy. They're still carrying you in their spirit. Um, we have D'Angelo and the Vanguard betray my heart. So for many of you, that's what you felt like your ex betrayed your heart, your ex unrequited love, abandonment, um, neglect, you know, um, just whatever you can think. That's what they did. They were very deceitful. And I feel like, you know, for many of you, spirit is just saying, forgive that person. Um, stop carrying around that burden, stop carrying around that hurt, and stop judging yourself more importantly. But you have something amazing coming in. Spirit has reconciled, uh, recognized, pardon me, all of the work that you've done to get to this phase and stage in your life. And they also can see that you're very guarded because of what you've endured in your past with your former um, partners. Um, but spirit is saying it's time to open up because there is love in the air. There's real love. There's true love. And there is someone that absolutely um, has a lot of admiration. Um, you have twin flames. So this could be like past life love situations. And you're going to pick up on these little synchronicities that may occur um, around you. You may see 1111 um, several times a day. You may see 444. You may see 333. That's a number associated with the archangels. Um, but Archangel Mikael showing up is showing that 
He is absolutely protecting you. He doesn't play about you. Neither does any of your angels. Many of you have gifts. That's why the spirituality card is here. And I feel like spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Use discernment in order to navigate these situations. Because there's going to be a decision. Some of you, your exes are going to return. At the same time, a new love is going to come into your life. And you're going to have to make a decision on whether you wish to build with someone new or rebuild um, you know, destroy and rebuild with a former partner. And I already know the answer to that because I'm, I'm, I'm very certain that my Scorpios are looking for new beginnings, fresh starts. And that's what I'm seeing here for you all. Um, but this definitely feels very testy to me. I feel like it's, it's testing you. It's challenging you. Um, it's obvious someone wants a fresh start with you, wants to take a leap of faith with you, but I do feel like this is someone who is still very deceptive and dishonest and is just trying to trick you. This is like a trickster. I'm hearing a trickster. This is a manipulator. This is what they do. This is how they survive. They don't know how to do anything other than that. And that is why you have to use your first eye to see, beloveds. But this is your reading. I hope the message has resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload because I don't do it as often as other uh, readers. Um, and I do appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in. If any of you are interested um, in booking a spiritual consultation with me, my shop is still on hiatus um, because I'm working on some new things. I'm getting some projects up. I, I just got a lot going on and I don't want to do anything half-assed. So I want to make sure I can put all of my energy, all that good energy into my projects. Um, so I'm holding off, but in the meantime, in between time, if you were interested in booking a spiritual consultation, a personal, um, reading with me, you could hit up my email at psych major P is in Paul S Y C H major at Y mail.com. You can hit me up there and, um, I'll respond to you, uh, and we can proceed with, um, you know, with with your reading but thank you so much till next time i send a big fat ashayo peace love and light to you all peace